everybody, it's Fran. Um, well, you made it to the second video, I guess. So, that's exciting. Thank you for watching. Um, I've seen a lot of people do this TTC tag. Um, never done one of those, so I just Googled everything and seen most of the questions that people ask themselves or have people ask them. And, yeah, I think it's a fun way to get to know somebody and hear about their story. So, um, that's what this is now. So, yeah, I printed them all off <laughs> so I wouldn't forget any. So I guess we'll jump right in. So question number one, how long have you been trying to conceive? Like I mentioned in my video before, my introduction, it's been, we're currently on month 15. They're not exactly 15 cycles just because my cycles were horribly long. But yeah, 15 months. Alright, so number two, how many kids do you have or want? Currently, we have no kids unless for babies count. Then we have four, three horses, and one little baby girl puppy. Um, how many do we want? I think we're kind of still indecisive about that. Um, I grew up as an only child, so I'm kind of like, I love the attention and you know, not having to share and the always getting what you want <laughs> and then hubby has two more brothers so um, he's kind of more of a bigger family um, I think we are kind of like just happy with one right now because it's been taking so long so as, as soon as that happens and then I'm sure for me it'll kind of depend on how horrible the pregnancy is and the giving birth and the unknown right now um, I think we'd be comfortable with two, um, one or two for right now, and then I think we'll see whether or not Hubby can persuade me to get any more. Um, plus, all I think it'll all depend on whether or not this will actually work out or not, right? Number three, how old are you and your husband? Um, I'm 22, so yeah, still kind of a lot young, but I'm glad I started young now that I know I have PCOS, so. Um, that way I can correct things and if it takes a little bit longer, we're not rushed for age as well. Um, hubby's 26, but turning 27 in March. Um, number four, how long have you been married? We've been married for two and a half years. We got married on um, August 11th in 2012. I think I'm going to try to put some pictures in the old video, like my introduction of us, so you guys can see me and the hubby. Um, if I didn't, for some reason, I'll maybe try to put some in this. If there's none in this one, go check out the other one. Sorry. <laughs> Um, number five, what are some crazy things you do while TTCing? Well, for sure I'll drive myself crazy, um, but it's not been this crazy yet just because I haven't had like a normal cycle. I think the craziness will start once, um, I do have a chance to get pregnant every month and if it doesn't happen, that's when I'm gonna go really crazy, I think. But right now it's just been this horrible waiting game because my periods are, or my cycles are so long, sorry. Um, like I said, my cycles were anywhere from, like, they're all over 100 days, which is a long time to wait. Um, I'll probably get into some of the, what we've been, like, trying so far later on, so I don't really want to spoil too much yet. Number six, does your husband know all about TTC? <laughs> I mentioned that in video number one. Um... He's trying really hard to understand, but I think the whole thing to a guy is kind of like, oh, well, they're, like, I don't know, they're obviously, like, they can see it's been taking longer than what people always tell you when you're, like, a teenager or something, and you're like, you'll have sex once, and that's when you're gonna get pregnant. Well, for some of us, that doesn't happen, obviously, so, um, he knows that it's taking longer. Um, he knows my cycles are way out of, like, whack, so he's worried about that. That's why he, he was the one who pushed me to go see a doctor. Um, so yeah, he's trying, 
I think everything will set in more once we go to our gynecologist appointment and when like a doctor tells him what's going on more than just me saying something. Um, he does try to like understand this whole process of like ovulation and all the timing and the little OPKs and stuff. Um, I think he has a general idea but not as crazy and obsessed about it as we are. <laughs> Um, number seven, have you been diagnosed with any kind of infertility? Yes, unfortunately about five months ago, um, all my blood work and my ultrasounds revealed that I have PCOS. Wait, um, what keeps you busy during the two week wait? Um, honestly I've had a two week wait twice. That's it. That I was aware that I'm ovulating. Um, well, I guess I'll maybe just share a little bit and then put something else in the third video that I'll post or fourth. I'll see. Um, I guess for me, my first two week wait was way at the beginning when we started to try of like 2013. It was in the November, like late November. Um, I heard about OPKs. Sorry, here comes my puppy. <laughs> say hi, Bailey. Can you lay down? Lay down, Bubba. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I think the first two week wait was in November, late November of 2013. Um, it was, we were starting to use those OPKs, but we were using those clear blue ones with the little smiley face. Yeah, that stopped quickly when we really realized how long my cycles are, because damn, that costs a lot of money. Um, yeah, especially with 100 and some day cycles. It's insane. So yeah, anyway, I had a, I got a positive on cycle day 27, which wasn't too horrible, I don't think, but it was still really late. Um, finally got a smiley face. We did everything that we could, and we did it that day too, but we weren't really aware of all the timing before all of it, so... We did before, like we did baby dance before, but it was mainly just like as soon as I got that smiley face, so probably too late. Um, plus, I don't think I really ever owned. It was just like the surge, and that was it. Um, then I guess I was like, I wasn't really aware of the whole like exactly two week wait until a pregnancy test. So uh, I was trying to figure stuff out, like Google stuff. When can I take a pregnancy test? Because that was like the first real cycle trying. And um, everybody's like, yeah, well, the last time that you baby dance, like, make it like 15 or 16 days to be safe. So I waited and it was like, okay, your first cycle, doesn't matter if it happens or not. And uh, I did take a pregnancy test, which came up negative, and then I tried again before Christmas, hoping that maybe it's going to be like a Christmas announcement to everybody. And nope. <laughs> And then I don't think my period showed up until like February, so that was fun. <laughs> and then the other two week wait was just recently, um, just before this cycle started actually, but I'll explain all of that in another video so this doesn't get too long. Um, number nine, what day do you usually ovulate? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think. Um, at least I've never caught it, at least not in this long of a cycle currently. Um, I've only ever like really known that I'm ovulating just last cycle that's when the whole I knew it was a two week wait sort of thing happened but yeah I'll explain all that in another video um number 10 what gender are you hoping for okay now that's a hard one um it used to be definitely a girl I guess like every girl wants a girl just like the dresses and the shoes and the hair and all that stuff um but, I don't know, um, hubby always wanted a boy, hockey, <laughs> and all that stuff, like boy stuff, and the more hubby talked about, um, having a boy, I was like, you know, like, there's cute boy stuff, like, um, like I said before, we're kind of like country folk, <laughs> we live out on an acreage with horses and stuff, so I was like, you know what, a little, like, cowboy and wranglers and cute little plaid shirts and collar boots, that's not so bad, is it? Um... And now all of a sudden, the other day, we talked about it, and I think the hubby was like, no, I really want a girl now, too. So, in the end, it really doesn't matter, especially now that we know it's taken so long, and it could be taken a whole lot longer. Um, whatever it is, it is, as long as it's healthy. Let's see, number 11, how many pregnancy books do you have? Honestly, right now, none. 
And the reason for that is because um, my husband and I were, or are still currently in my parents' basement suite. Um, which has been really hard. Like, we know where we're trying, but they didn't know. So, it was hard to share anything with anybody or get caught having stuff on your phone when you're at dinner or all that stuff so um we just recently told them over christmas break that that's what we were trying and so now it's kind of in the open and they're all excited so that's good but yeah that's why i don't own any because it's always been like the risk of what if i leave it laying around and something happens because we can like share it laundry down here so um and then what if they see it, right? Then they're going to start asking questions. And I think we're just really worried because we are still young that they put too much of their opinion in trying to ruin everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't own any. All the questions that I've had so far were kind of like online thing only. But maybe I'll start looking into it. But I think everything that I need to know has kind of been coming from the vlogs and the sites. And so, I don't know. I've never really needed a book. Um, how many home pregnancy tests do you take in one cycle? Well, my cycles are so long, there's no need for me to take pregnancy tests. Like, I'll take one, like, sporadically just to make sure I'm not doing anything stupid, um, while I could be pregnant. But it's just more of a, okay, let's test, like, it's been two weeks, let's see if anything happened, but it never does. Um, 13, what are some stress relievers when TTC? Um... To me, honestly, I've been stressing myself out a lot lately, um, which is, I think, why I've been starting to watch all these vlogs more, just to kind of have a peace of mind that somebody out there was going through the same thing, and there they are, switching their TTC vlogs into pregnancy vlogs. So, that's kind of what I find relaxing, <laughs> to sit there and grieve with them through every video and every doctor's appointment and every crying big fat negative pregnancy test and whatnot and then the happy moment the live pregnancy test upload and that turning into a pregnancy vlog so that's what i think is most relaxing besides obviously like my husband trying to calm me down with stuff and my fur babies they calm me down too but i'm in alberta and it's like winter so winter here means like minus 20 and lower so unless i have to go outside to feed them i'm not spending much time out there unfortunately so i think summer will be better to keep me busy and to um so yeah that was it for the questions that i had um i'm not sure if any of you guys are actually watching or if you have any questions about me um or husband or ttc story or what i'm going through or PCOS like anything please feel free to leave a comment down below um you can email me too if you click on my channel there should be my email address somewhere I made one just for this channel for so people could contact me um yeah so I think that was it for the TTC tag <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video bye